Welcome to the Empowered Podcast with Deanna Merlino, an all-encompassing personal development show where I will be sharing with you just how to transform yourself into the best version of you, both inside and out. From wellness, entrepreneurship, spirituality, and manifestation, I'll be showing you exactly how to live your best life. I will be keeping it as real and raw as it gets. So get ready to peel back the layers and really transform yourself under the surface because nothing is better than finding your purpose and living this life as your true, authentic self. You've been hearing me talk about my new spiritual life coaching program. So by now, you know, if you are ready to jump into something like this, but now it's time to make it happen. I'm running a special deal. And if you want to hear more, then it's time for you to reach out to me. You can check me out on my page, the empowered coach 333 and DM me for more information to get you ready to step into your higher self and your next level today. Welcome back, Empowered Fam. This is another installment of the manifesting series for you guys. If you didn't listen to the last two episodes, make sure you go back and listen to them. They're all about surrendering and raising your energetic frequency, which are so important in manifesting. And today we are going to continue on with childlike belief. And this is something that I kind of touched on in the first uh, episode on manifesting, but I really want to dig into this deeper uh, because it's really important to understand. And it's It's going to be the make or break in how fast and if your manifestations are going to happen. So believing is a key component in the law of attraction and in manifesting. You probably all heard the saying, whether you think you can or you can't, you are right. And that might not be spot on, but it's something like that. And so here's the thing. Truth is the fastest vibrating frequency in your body, your truth, not the truth. Um, Like the way people see something and the way you see something or I see something is always going to be different. So your truth, what resonates for you, what you believe, that is vibrating at its fastest frequency within your body. And so whatever you believe to be true, whether it's positive or negative, you're going to get positive or negative. And that's what your reality is going to portray. So this is where labels with yourself and by society, but what we can control is what happened, what we label with ourselves. This is so important. So for example, if you're, if you're someone who is saying bad things are always happening to me, well, if you keep saying that, and if you believe that your brain will make sure that that keeps happening. We believe that bad things are always happening, so I'm going to look for more things that are bad to keep happening to us because that's what I believe. So a shift that needs to be made for this case in point is I am currently experiencing something that is not ideal, but it is temporary, and I know that there is a lesson in this for me. Instead of believing that something is concrete when you're going through it because it's inevitable to to not go through things in life, it's just part of life. But if you shift your mindset to believe that it's temporary and it's not you, it's just something that's currently happening to you, then you have more control in turning the ship around when when you're going through rough waters. I want you to always believe this one belief is what has changed my life. And this is so important. So I want you to believe that everything is always happening for your greatest and highest good. Always. Even when things are quite frankly, shitty. When things suck, when things hurt, when things are hard, have faith that no matter what it is, things are always happening for your greatest and highest good. If you are facing divorce, if you are facing the loss of a business, if you are facing grief and losing a a parent or a sibling or a child, or if you are facing the loss of a job, this there's so many things that it could be, right? We all know what it's like to be going through hard times. If you truly believe that it is happening for your greatest and highest good and that there is a lesson in it that you are supposed to experience, not only does that give you back some control, but it's going to allow you to cope easier and to recover faster. Our souls are here at this time, specifically right now, to learn a specific lesson. We've already agreed to it. We have agreed to the karma of it. We have agreed to the lesson of it. So we are here 
And if you would just believe and accept that whatever you're going through, you're meant to be going through it, you're going to get through it, and there's a lesson in it, it's going to be a total game changer. And so getting back to labeling things, our brains will always try and prove us right. Always. They are so smart. And they're always trying to prove you right because it is a survival mechanism. And it goes back to acceptance and worth. And it's really ironic to me, not really because there is no irony, that last month I talked a lot about healing, healing childhood traumas, healing limiting beliefs. If you haven't listened to those episodes, I highly recommend going back to them. I've been having reach out people reach out to me a ton about how it clicked, how it makes sense. And for me, it was happening too. I'm going through it for you. It goes back to acceptance and worth. Your brain always needs to feel accepted and worthy. This literally goes back to the beginning of time. This, So if we break this down and go back to um, even babies, babies need to be loved and accepted more than they need food and water. Like there are people, if you didn't know this and it's super sad, there are people who literally volunteer to hold babies when they're born if they don't have, maybe their their parent is a drug addict or they're unwanted or maybe the parent passed away in, in the birth process, whatever it may be. They need to have skin to skin contact and feel love or they will literally die. And that's super sad to think about. But the point being is that even as at every stage in life, we want to be loved and accepted. But as a baby, it is literally a survival mechanism to be loved. Your brain wants to prove to you whatever you're telling it to, because your brain wants you to, it wants to be approved by you. It wants to be worthy of, of what you want it to do. So you need to build childlike belief in your manifestations happening. You need to believe that they're going to happen because if you don't, if there's an ounce, if there's the smallest little molecule of doubt in your brain, it's going to go back to that because it's kind of what we know. We're naturally kind of negative. It's easy to lose belief. You need to have childlike belief. Going back to babies again, when a baby is born, they just know they're going to be loved. They know they're going to be cared for. They know they're going to be fed. My son knows that he's going to get fed when he's hungry. My son knows his diaper is going to get changed if it needs to. Not because he's thinking about it because he's a baby, but it's just like a built-in thing. You need to have that kind of belief, that level of belief in yourself and in your in your manifestations and and in a positive mindset for yourself. You need to believe you're worthy. You need to believe you're deserving because if you don't, if you don't, you're not going to get your manifestations. And if you do, you're not going to keep them or it's going to be a really tough road in the process. And going back to that trauma, this isn't planned, but going back to those traumas, you're going to want to, when you're really ready to dig into manifesting properly and healing yourself, you need to go back to why you have lack of self-worth, why you have lack of self, self, self-belief. self Look back at stemming from your childhood, where these things come from, and heal them. Love, love the choices that you made. Love your coping mechanism, coping mechanisms. Love yourself through... You may have hurt people because you were hurting. You need to love and forgive them. And then alter your mindset to believe, I am worthy no matter what. And when you do that, you will then achieve your manifestations because you truly believe at a core level that you're worthy of them and you will have changed your your ability to accept them. So again, talking about how smart our brains are, we have to trick them into believing when we're first starting this process. Uh, Going back to episode 50, so just a couple of go, I actually talked about brain hack tricks. So you're going to want to go back and listen to that because that's going to be helpful as well. But the one that I'm going to focus on um, for some some tricking your brain, uh, tricking your brain to change are going to be affirmations. So of course, in the beginning, when you start doing affirmations, which are so important in rewiring your mindset, but your brains are smart, so they're not going to believe you initially. And if it doesn't believe you, it's going to say, kapooey, we're not successful. If your affirmation is, I am successful, but you're currently sitting on your sibling's couch or your grandparents' couch because you're living paycheck to paycheck if you're lucky and you have to borrow money to feed yourself and you have to turn down going to visit a friend for a coffee date because you can't afford a cup of coffee, but then you're sitting here saying, I am successful, your brain's going to say, that's a load of horse crap. No, we're not. 
So what you have to do is to create these hacks. You have to create these ways to little by little start uh, tricking your brain into believing that you are successful. One, for example, an easy way to do this, uh, going back to that episode I said, for example, if you're used to not doing things and you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the gym and then you don't do it. So your brain's like, I didn't believe that. And because we don't normally go to the gym and I knew we weren't going to do it, of course we didn't go to the gym. But instead, little by little, you can... Um, I'm going to put on my gym clothes. Instead of just saying, I'm going to go to the gym, even in your head, it's very important. Your thoughts are very important. You just put on your gym clothes. So before you put on your gym clothes, say, I'm going to put on my gym clothes. And then you do it. And your brain goes, huh, we actually did that. I'm going to put on my gym shoes. And then you put on your gym shoes. Huh, we actually did that. I'm going to drive to the gym. And then you drive to the gym. These little things are going to build your brain's belief and build your brain's confidence in what you're telling it to do. And then eventually you'll go to the gym. And then you'll start to love going to the gym. And it just builds off of that. So if your thing is going back to I am successful, start with I am successful at doing the dishes. And then I I do the dishes. And then your brain's like, I am successful. And then I am successful at doing the laundry. And then you go do the laundry. And your brain says, hey, I am successful at doing the laundry. So rewiring the way you do things, then thinking about them, and most importantly doing them because you don't want to reinforce a negative behavior. But eventually when you do that, eventually your brain will say, I am successful. And you're going to start to believe I am successful. And then you're going to start believing in yourself a little more and you're going to believe in your capabilities a little more. I love to say I am a millionaire. No, I'm not a millionaire yet. When I first started saying that, of course, my brain's like, you are not a millionaire, honey. And then we go back into the, well, I'm not a millionaire. So you're going to look at all the negative things or you're going to do nothing. I'm not currently a millionaire. So I'm going to stop saying my affirmations. Here's the thing. Start doing the things that make someone a millionaire. If you don't know what makes someone a millionaire, I recommend you research it and make a list of the things that that they do and start doing them. Um, actually, I have uh, two episodes. I did a series on success, and they're called The 12 Pillars to Success. I have no idea what the episodes are. They were a while back, but they were two hits. They were two big hits of an episode, and those break down the things that successful people do. So you can start there and start doing the things on those lists. So right now, you may not be a millionaire, but you're acting like a millionaire. And so maybe that feels more comfortable to you. I am acting like a millionaire before you're able to say I'm a millionaire because you want your brain to believe it. It's so important. But keep doing the things that a millionaire does. And having this mindset will change to healthy habits. And these healthy habits will change you. And a change you is then more open to seeing opportunities And allowing yourself to accept the opportunities because you're worthy of being a millionaire. Because you see that this could turn you into a millionaire. This is going to allow you to see people and relationships who are successful and want to bump arms with them, have conversations with them, have the confidence to uh, build a relationship with them. And maybe you are going to hire a mentor, hire a coach, because you now understand the importance of personal development. And you know that someone else is going to see your your weaknesses and see through your situation to have an answer easier than you are. And when you do that, you're going to level up and you're going to grow into a stronger person. You're going to grow your intuition. You're going to grow your success at the little things. And you're going to see the next step and then the next step and then the next step. And so when you do that, eventually these next steps, these are going to lead to the actual things that could turn you into a millionaire, whether it is the These little steps, this little idea is going to turn into that book. It could turn into starting that business. It could look into creating a partnership with this person. It could be the next course, the the next idea, anything. Those little steps are going to lead to whatever it is that's actually going to turn you into the millionaire. It's all a process. It's who you become in the process. It's not the one little step. It's not one big step. It's chunking it down and doing them little by little the compound effect, little by little, until it becomes the thing you're affirming. Until you start to believe that I am that thing. Until you start to believe this is my lifestyle. And when you build that belief, you're going to make it happen. Your brain's going to help you, which is the most important. Your Your subconscious is the captain of the ship. And if you don't rewire it and reprogram it, it will always win. And because we tend to be negatively programmed, it will always undermine you. 
So you have to consciously choose and accept and build on and continue to do it over and over and over and over and over and over again until it becomes the subconscious belief. Where do you need to make changes in your belief? What little steps can you do? Maybe you want to, let's for example, okay, you want to write a book. You've possibly never wrote in a book in your life, but the thought, it keeps coming in your head. I'd love to write a book. I have a night. So first you're going to want to come up with an idea for a book, right? And then maybe a title for a book. And then maybe if you've never written a book before, you take a course in writing. And actually, I've heard this recently, so this ties in. Stephen King says that he started by and recommends, if you want to write a book, to write 500 pages a day. It doesn't have to have a purpose. It doesn't have to have a reason. You just write 500 uh, words a day to get used to writing. So maybe that's your next step. And then after you've gotten used to writing 500 pages a day, create the name of a chapter. And then when you create the name of a chapter, you write that chapter. And then the next and the next and the next. And before you know it, you have a book. And then you look into a publishing company to um, help you get a publishing deal. And then before you know it, you have written a book. And before you know it, because of that publishing company and that book you you wrote, you have now become a millionaire. See how many steps there are in between? And there's obviously a lot more. But along the way, you need to be working on your self-belief. And even though it may just be an idea at the moment, you have to believe that it is possible. Your thoughts, your words, and your beliefs, and what you write, even the words you write on paper, it's where affirmations are great to write and then read, all of them are so powerful and every one of them are energetically changing your reality. So if you don't like the way your reality looks, then change your thoughts, your beliefs, your words, and what you're writing. Where are some places that you you want to see change. Look at your life right now. What are you not happy with? I don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. Okay, well then maybe look at your spending habits. Where can you cut some things out? Where can you spend your time more wisely? Maybe you could pick up a part-time job. Maybe you start a side hustle. Whatever it is, You need to build your belief in yourself that you're capable of doing it. And when you do that, you're going to make it happen. Where do you, where is your belief lacking? Dig backwards. I don't believe that I am worthy of success. Why? Is it because it's stemmed from a partner or you're in a relationship with a partner who's telling that? Or maybe it stems back to a parent where, you know, they may have said some unkind and hurtful words because they weren't feeling super worthy. So they told you you're not going to amount to anything because they're uh, deflecting their pain and projecting it onto you. So maybe it stems back to childhood and you need to heal that. But until you look at where these thoughts are coming from, it's not going to be a permanent change. So go through the process. Heal and then believe and work on yourself and your beliefs are going to happen. I hope that anything in this episode sat with you and just remember what you believe, whether you believe it is true, that is what it's going to be. Either it will be or it won't be. So look at what's happening in between your ears because that is the most important thing and something only you have control over what you accept and what you believe. Okay, guys, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And next week, I have a really great guest for you. Cannot wait to have her on. Hallie is a professional manifesting coach, so can't wait to have her here. Have the best day, the best week, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode. If you want to find out more, you can follow me on Instagram at Empowered with Deanna and my personal page, Fit Deanna Lolita. You can also visit me on my website, which is DeannaMerlinoFit.com. Make sure that whatever platform you guys are listening on, please rate and subscribe. And this means so much to me. It's going to help get me out there to help so many other people. I'm so grateful that you're here with me on this journey of wellness and self-empowerment. I cannot promise that it will always be easy, but I do know that it will always be worth it. Stick with me and together, let's start living as the version of us that we were meant to be because the world is waiting for your gifts and you deserve to live the life of your wildest dreams and beyond. So friends, let's get empowered.